years ago, I had the privilege of volunteering on a locked Alzheimer's unit for four consec consecutive weeks. I happened to know several of the individuals that were on the unit and felt called to do this for a variety of reasons. Normally, I don't volunteer my services, but I did this time for personal reasons. In those four weeks, I was blessed to serve these people. I happened to know several of them from other parts of life and knew that they had a common group of songs that they tended to like, that they liked to sing certain things, that they liked to dance, that they liked especially to polka. So I went armed with my collection of songs that they knew, my musical instruments, my guitar, and my experiences and started cheering on the unit. It was fairly typical of my sessions. We always do greetings and say goodbye. We move and get our blood flowing. We have sing-alongs. We generally have some type of percussion, drum circle type experience. And often there are pictures or items that I bring to spur some conversation about a topic. These sessions were no different from that. And in them, staff got to see some of what I often see. But they also got to see some things that I don't get to see. The second week that I came back, I got a response of, you know, the night after you were here, things were a lot calmer. People seemed a lot more alert and a lot more responsive. Another week I came back and I heard, gee, I even saw a change in folks the next day. Now, music therapy is not a cure-all. It's not going to take dementia away. It doesn't lessen the disease process. But for these individuals in this situation, I think it helped unlock some of that locked away part of them and let them share it with others. It also allowed the staff to see how much these people are still capable of and how much they have to share and special parts of them that maybe they've never experienced before. Music therapy and music sessions are not for everyone, but for this particular group of people, it was right. And that is one of the big pleasures of my job. Honestly, it's probably more effective when it's individual or a very small intimate group, but even in groups of eight to 10, with a little staff and family support, there are some amazing things that can happen.